So we ended up having to lower this platform because of the neighbors said it was blocking their view. So, um, but so we got the first panel completely installed, and we're halfway through putting the tubes on this one. Um, the efficiency of these is amazing. I mean, just from without even hooking water up to it yet, you can feel the heat just really radiating out of that header there and this is you know you can see the sun's almost set you know very little actual exposure on the tubes uh, so this these things are gonna be heating some water man there they are pictures the inlets are done okay so we're all done here inlet side over here yeah panel a through the branch of the T's here. So these two valves will isolate this closest panel. Getting strapped in with Unistrat, looking smart. Um, we've got drain valves here as we may, uh, this may actually make the pool too hot during the summer. So we will uh, may need to shut down in uh, one of the panels and you need to uh, drain them. You can't leave them full of water or they will expand beyond uh, pop something in there. So uh, yeah, drain valves on the back side here and couldn't quite get the these handles in as, as symmetrical of a place. The valves. Um, so we got the outlet shut off here and inlet on the other side. And air vents at the top also could be used for future expansion of temperature sensing equipment or such and there's the inlet shut off valve for this side. so quite pleased with the way it turned out yeah, the project is now complete and has been up and running for a couple days now and we're seeing some pretty nice performance out of it uh, pool has gained quite a few degrees and I think about six I don't have an accurate thermometer at the moment but it's hard to say for sure so but somewhere in six to eight degrees in a couple days and it's a, a massive amount of water I'm not going to show the pool right now but it's it's big got the customers in there so it's our PVC run put this room here you have a sight leak here we're going to be touching up on the check valve Install the bypass valve. There are a couple leaks here. These are uh, solar panels. This must have just happened from expansion and contraction because we definitely uh, was leak free for weeks. And uh, surprisingly enough, the solder joint too. Looks like it has a slow leak. That also developed later, so that's highly unusual. But uh, And then uh, this threaded fitting here as well. So we had it happen once already here on this fitting, so it's not too uh, unexpected. Um, as you can see, we went a few threads more on this one, so expansion and contraction, we just had to make it a little tighter than we thought. So, learning process. So, basically, I'm just going to cut the copper, um, probably flip this joint over, you know, twist it, turn it. We might be able to just tighten this up a little more. Uh, if that doesn't work, then we'll, if that doesn't seem like it's good, then I have a replacement adapter and uh, 
man, I might be able to saw that. I can probably saw all that off and reuse it. Well, on this one, it was too close, and I actually had to do the socket saver routine on there. So we'll see. We have a heat cycling as I made this one hand tight here, so definitely the threads don't feel bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just probably wind that around a couple more times. The bottom of the threads out in there, and then uh, repair a couple of it. Of course, I'll deburr it. So I got it in the here. And it's still draining both the panels out of there. So. Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, soldering up these companion flanges and uh, the T's for the solar project. Uh, we've had uh, several issues, mostly uh, related to outside interference, I think, but uh, been having some issues with the threaded. PVC to copper connections uh, that transfer uh, from our panels to the uh, to the PVC pipework and takes it up to the pump room. So uh, I've devised a solution here to just uh, eliminate um, all the threads and do uh, transfer to PVC with a companion flange. So we're building uh, what the was the ones they set of PVC tees out of copper and uh, some flanges, and it'll be a lot easier to solder up here in my shop than trying to do it. Uh, uh, in the field there, so I figured I would do that and uh, give you guys a little glimpse at it. Uh, I might get some brazing footage in there, or I might just show you how it looks afterwards. So we'll see how uh, see how everything turns out. Should be able to get this with the uh, the auto igniter here. Um, it's maybe a little smallish for this, but it's done it before, and I've brazed too much with it before. So um, uh, for this torch, I only have this head and the, and the smaller one. So. I don't really want to break out the rosebud right now, so. The uh, companion flange is installed here. After having uh, a bit of trouble of various kinds with the uh, plastic threads to the copper threads here, um, especially on the outlet side, I don't know if it's the heat or or what, but uh, uh, we also had some other other issues. Maybe people kind of uh, jostling the uh, pipe work here too, so maybe stretched it or something. But uh, we've eliminated that problem with the companion flanges. So. I went ahead and uh, I brazed all these up uh, in the shop. That's the. I think I got some footage of that. So, 
And then uh, we installed these wells here also, so we can uh, get some temperature sensors in there at some point down the road. So uh, everything's done up to here. These are all torqued, um, so we're ready to uh, glue up and tighten these clamps down, and uh, should be good to go. Shouldn't have any more leaks. Uh, we went ahead and eliminated these valves here too. We determined they just really weren't necessary. Uh, we figured we might have to had to uh, balance the flow a little bit, and that just really didn't seem necessary. So, eliminated another leak point there. Okay, nice temperature split, even on a cloudy day here. Not sure what the flow rate is, but. Whatever a you know, two horse pump can do. And the final finishing touch is these air vents. I had uh, trouble with them getting vapor locked occasionally, so. That's it. I'm sure that was quite shit.